Welcome to, <clears throat> welcome to the Daily Jing for February 21st. Here's the quote of the day. A cage went in search of a bird. Franz Kafka. If you haven't heard of Kafka, at least his uh, Metamorphosis, you probably read that in high school. He's a great writer. So let's look at the notes here. Let's talk about myth for a minute. As you probably all recognize, myths are not true, or at least they are not true in the strict sense that what is portrayed in a myth actually happened. But really, isn't reality a tad boring, or perhaps at times too terrifying to see war, rape, famine, disease, school shootings? Myth, on the other hand, is something we formulate to get us out of a tight spot. Say we are scared of thunder. If we can imagine a, a Greek god by the name of Zeus throwing thunderbolts, it eases our worry. Not us, actually, because we are beyond the Greek myths, but the ancient Greeks, although they didn't probably believe in Zeus wholeheartedly either. But the reason myths exist is that people, people making a myth need them to help with how everything got started, as in creation. So the people making the myth can get on with their life, with their business, with their lives. We need to know where we've been in order to know where we're going. And the past is a fuzzy place and only becomes useful to the present if we can imagine ourselves somehow masters of it. Science does this for us today. In fact, science is one of the major myth-making apparatuses in modern culture. We imagine what we say we know. Darwin was doing that when he invented evolution. The myth of evolution substantiates a, a vision of biology or reality that in the end, but in the end it is only another creation story. It will be abandoned like the Greek myths when some new reality pops its head up and we formulate its myth in order to for us to create the future we want. More on myth in Friday's Daily Jing. So the question of the day, what is the nature of myth-making? It's telling a lie to find the truth. Okay, thank you. See you on Friday. Bye.